Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fulton Street Beats. Got an unboxing for you today. This is an Ibanez RGB, I think 450 RGB. I think that's the model number. Um, and I saw this and I had to have it. I usually go through a musician's friend when I am getting a name brand guitar. Um, they always seem to treat me right. They did not have this guitar in stock. They did have it listed on their website, but they found out that they're all on back order. So, but um, Guitar Center had one, um, but just one. And it was new, but it was out of the box. Um, they told me it was not a demo, but it was it was a new guitar, but it didn't come in the original box. So this, this has been shipped in a um, guitar case box. Seems like a very, very light guitar. I hope they didn't send me a case um, because that's just going to be weird if they did. And I don't know. We'll have to see. So let's dive in here. Let's do this unboxing. Obviously, it's been taped up, so I'm sure it's a guitar, and sometimes things feel a little different when they're in a box, but let's not do this because this is something I had to have when I saw it. And um, it was down to this, and I was actually looking at another Harley Benton, but... I think we'll go with the Harley Benton. Maybe we'll do the Harley Benton in the future and compare the two. Now, on paper, the Harley Benton has, well, it's a period of this on paper. But uh, I'm an Ibanez fan, and um, so let's see what they offer. I'm really curious about this finish. So let's see what we got in here. It is a guitar, thank God. Extremely well bubble wrapped. Let's make sure everything is good here. And yeah, it will work in order. And there we go. You guys, as you can see, we have a... This is the Wizard 3 neck on this. And I can tell you right now, it's a fast C-shaped neck. Okay. Let's get this off here. Let's check this out. You know what? I'm going to cut this off because... I just don't want to put any on anything. There we are. There we are. And there is the guitar, but um, let's hope the whammy bar is in the box. I can see through it is recessed. Oh! Huge damage. Look at this. Look at this. This is not good. This is horrible. Well, this is going back. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to give them a call right away. How dare them send me a guitar like this? No, that is simply not going to fly. Okay, I'm going to cut this video and we're going to get a hold of them right now. Okay, so I just got off the phone with the musician's friend. And I sent them pictures of this crazy damage. Check this out. This is not shipping damage, by the way. This is a used guitar. There's no doubt about it. This thing has been more played than, well, I'm not even going to use the joke. Um, the cavity cover doesn't fit properly. I just discovered that there's a crack right up in here, too. Nice crack. Um, big gap. And uh, fret sprout, unlike anything, any guitar I've ever seen, this fret sprout is horrible. This guitar has been around for a while. This is not a demo model. This is not anything like this. This is a used guitar, period. Um, it's just used. It's beat up. And it's even faded. I'm sure the video won't pick it up, but it's faded. There's big indentations in the back of the neck up here. The, the tuners are actually corroded. And... There's, it's banged up. It's, I mean, it's just, I wouldn't give a hundred bucks for this guitar. Not even for parts, because I'm not in the parts business. Um, I'm looking for a nice guitar. The finish inside in here, I mean, this isn't Ibanez quality. This is Horace Bear Wood in, down in here. Um, this is not Ibanez quality. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. I got guitars over here on the wall that were a few hundred bucks that simply are way better than this build quality. I, this is a second and a return or something. There's something going on here. Um, I do like the dark nickel hardware. That looks great. I haven't plugged it in. I'm not, I'm not going to bother. Musician's Friends taking it back. They were very helpful and they were very embarrassed about the situation. The guitar center that sent this, sent this to me in Johnson City, New York, 
should be ashamed of themselves for putting this thing in a box. And the ironic thing is they said to me um, in an email before they shipped this, this guitar is just like new. Rest assured, this is a new guitar that will not come in an original box, but it is a new guitar. No, this is an old, old guitar that I'm guessing someone traded in. And you were just looking to off it. Um, and I paid close to retail. So I didn't get a huge discount. And, you know, I use my points because I have points with a musician's friend. So, yeah, um, no, not going to fly. I mean, this thing will cut your fingers. This is the worst fret job. It's not fret job. It's not the fret job. The, it's so old that the, the fretboard, the wood is it's having shrunk. It's sprouted. But I thought I'd share with you all this crazy stuff and that damage up in here and the head face of the head sock itself is nice and I think that doesn't look as faded as the body but the body's definitely faded and the binding work even on this it's horrible like it's coming everything's it's it's not a, it's not a nice guitar I'm hoping that the one they send is a nice guitar but this is not a nice guitar, and this wouldn't have been a good guitar even without this damage. It's just not. It's like it's just not. Um, my gem over here that I built is simply outstanding compared. Let me grab that. I'll show you. This has been through many, many, many phases. Now this right here is outstanding, and it's it's a better <laughs> it's a better gem. Style guitar. I mean, the style guitar. It's a gem, but it's better. Even the neck is better. The fretboard. Everything's better on this. And this was a kit. Um, I, I do it a lot too. This this has uh, Gibson PAFs in it, but still, yeah, just disappointed. So, tell me what you think in the comment section. I mean, this is if you got a guitar and it came. I mean, I would have been. I would have overlooked anything else on the guitar except for that right there. That really did it. And I don't know, man. There's just a lot of defects on this guitar. Stuff that I'm noticing every time I look at it. Like every time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Fulton Street Beats. If you could, hit that like button, share, subscribe. Helps my algorithm out. And stay tuned to see what's going to happen because I'm supposed to get another one of these. Um, I'm supposed to be in on the 14th. And it should be a brand new in a actually factory sealed box. Musician's friend, as usual, treats me right. Um, I've never had anything shipped from a guitar senator before. Usually it's from Musician's Friend's warehouse. So we're going we're gonna to let them slide on this one. Because they always treat me right. Um, but hopefully I am taken care of and we can, we can have good news. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.